Hello, my name is Johnny Liu. Uh, I'm going to do a video on iCat Kaplan. Kaplan. Uh, okay, with uh, Raspberry Pi 3. Uh, this one is a ray uh, image, which is a track mode. And right now I have the Sega CD on it. Uh, I want to go ahead. Somebody asked me to do a video about how to uh, put this together and make this a LED light. So let's get right to it. Uh, today's topic is going to be a tear down of my Raspberry Pi RK cabinet. And I'm going to show you what it looked like before I put the LED light. And how to put the new LED light, how to uh, put the cable in because the cable you have to put it in a in a in a white location for the light to light up so this is to the board and then this is the the cable that you have to plug it in is a total of four cable four plug uh, instead of uh, the, the normal one is only two so because the LED light it have four cable, four pin that you have to plug into the board. And so so I'm gonna go over tearing this down, show you how I built it, what it looked like before I add this in and how to plug this in. Uh, mainly is today's topic is all hardware related. I'm not gonna go into in depth about the software. But one thing I want to let you guys point this out to you is that I know it's cheap to go ahead and buy the cabinet that is already pre-built and modify it uh, instead of trying to cut out the wood. But sometimes it doesn't hurt to cut out the wood and make it because this one, the iCat, the inside this iCat is not long, it's not, what do you call it? Uh, deep enough to put the LED light. So I have to cut a lot of stuff inside out to have room to put the LED light. So because the LED light is much longer than the normal one. Well, the, this is the original iCat that I unplug it out. It, it's not that long, it's shorter. And the way, the way you pop it out is is that you have to pull this back. Uh, see, this is the clicking one. So you just pull it back and lift it up. And then there's a little hole, hole right here. You just kind of like wiggle it out. See? So you just have to put that in to the hole and then press it back down in here pull this back, snap. And this is the old uh, arcade joystick, which make a lot of noise when you click on it. And this is the arcade. I did not unplug anything. If you look at it, it looked exactly where it was before. Okay. And this is where all the, all the button on the original arcade cabinet. Okay. Now, you notice there's light here. Before we do that, you have to get the right tool. You have to go buy, I bought this from Amazon, and I'll try to put the link at the bottom, if I don't forget, uh, where you need this uh, tool in order to open the, the, I, uh, the iCat uh, cabinet, because you need a special tool. One is the one is the T15. If you can see it, T whoop, T15, and that's what it looked like. Okay, you need this in order to open the 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 wood on the side. Okay, and then then you need uh t8 okay 
I don't know if it's focused or not, but it have a little hole in the middle, like a, like a circle, and you have like six, one, two, three, four, five, six, six star, and you need this in order to open the cab cabinet because the cabinet have a special where if you don't have it, uh, you're not able to open it. You should see that. Okay, so this is another iCAD, but it's made where it doesn't have, you just put the iPad, it's made for Apple iPad, you put it right here, and you could play the game with the iPad. Uh, it use a special this this tool the T15 no T8 sorry T8 the T15 is the other one that you open the wood one the T this one go into here okay and then you can open it alright so I'm using my hand to open it right now but what I'm going to do now is to open this one to show you what it look like because inside here it look exactly the same as the cat cabinet at the back you're looking at and I'm going to show you how to take the the cable out and what did I cut off to make room to put this this one in here okay so let's go ahead and get the stop with that pick up the tool that it's just for. I'm putting this on this uh, so make it longer and putting this right here. All this come with this this set. This one up here and this one right here took that make it longer and then put the head in the bottom. Okay. Then make sure the direction is correct. Okay, I'm tying it and I'm going ahead and take this off. All right, show you what it look like inside. Now I need the Phillips. So now I'm using a regular Phillips because the rest of them is just a regular uh, a Phillips triangle. I mean, of course, I don't want to call it. That's too. Uh, oh, the other one used a. Sorry, this used a special. This one is the T 1.5. I'm sorry, not the T 1.5. I'm sorry, T 8. Okay. So it looks like you have two of those. That I have to take out one over here and one over here. And there's also two in in uh, in a cabinet as well. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna put this on the side so I won't lose it. All right. So once all the screw is out.
Let's make sure there's no oh there is screw on the bottom of the the heel. So you need to take them all out. And then you could take the cabinet out. So you're going back to the regular Phillips. Now one thing about uh, the cabinet is that after you configure the USB to work the Raspberry Pi, you have to go into emulator. I think like at least four, four or five of them, I think. And you have to configure it. So otherwise, the button does not work like you know because all the image is 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 configured to work with. Uh, majority of this one Xbox and the Raspberry Pi used all these buttons here all every single one of this except the middle one and then in in Nintendo DS you, you could customize this button here so but and also have two uh, two uh, what do you call this uh, analog d-pad analog and problem is Raspberry Pi uh, the RK only have one. You do not have two, so you're gonna wind up not able to use all all the up and down uh, functionality, and that's what make it a uh, little bit more of a problem. Because if you use this kind of joystick, you have no problem playing all the images that you have download and put on SD card that already have pre track mode and game already loaded. But if you're using the this your own, you build your own. You would have to go in the game and customize it, otherwise uh, your button does not work. And that is a big project itself. I have not took time to do it yet. I I, uh, I think I have two more to do to complete this set. But yeah, if, otherwise your joystick button does not work. And that's one thing I'm finding out that nobody mentioned uh, mentioned it when I, while I was building this arcade. After I finished building it, I'm like, why isn't my game working? See, the button is, does not function the way you want it to. Instead, it's going up and down with it. Instead, I don't know which one is actually... Oop, this is the X is out. No, I don't want to do that. Okay, I'm not really sure which button is which. So, that's the problem with the arcade build. So, if you guys plan to build it, Think about it, you know, you have to do a lot of research on it, look into it, and learn more about it to able to get this thing done. Because once you build, I hate to tell you, because once you build it, you're going to like, oh, why my game's not working? Why the button are not mapped? It's, you know, it's random. And so you have to go to each emulator, not each emulator, there's total four main one that manage this, uh, the Raspberry Pi. So that's one thing bad about Raspberry Pi is you're gonna wind up spending more money trying to build it than it is to buy one. Like the the one I did on some of the handheld is already pre-built. You could plug it, you could put it behind the system and plug the monitor on it and use a USB or Bluetooth and you could play the same game and make it look like an arcade without using a Raspberry Pi. You don't have to worry about doing mapping or anything. It's very easy to do. Well, Raspberry Pi is a little bit harder. So let me give you an example of what I'm talking about. Like you could use this one, for example. You have all the joystick of it. And you could use Bluetooth joystick. Okay, or you could use a uh, direct uh, USB connection. Okay, and then you could. This is the big. Uh, this is kind of big, but there's another one called the GPD. It's a smaller one, and you could. Uh,
and you can hook this on directly to the TV, which is a H H HDMI, and then you that is a HDMI uh, screen. It's a it's a I, IPX screen, meaning that you can look at any direction and the screen you look good. With the TF TF uh, it's called a TFT. Those screen you have to look directly at it to ever play. You cannot look sideways. The screen will not look good sideways. Okay, like this one, it looks good in every direction as well. And that one is good. All right, so just let you know that if you want to build an arcade, you could, but you don't have to use Raspberry Pi. I'm not sponsoring Raspberry Pi. I'm not. I'm just doing this as a hobby because uh, it have a lot of emulator that the other handheld system doesn't have. Uh, but Retro Art are creating more. So you could have more emulator, but yeah, Raspberry Pi. The only thing good is I have a lot of emulator, but if you do not know what you're doing, you're gonna have a lot of headache. Like I, I took about three to uh, close to three to six months for me to under fully understand what I'm doing, and watch a lot of video, try this, try that, and uh, so hopefully this video will help you understand how to put the LED light. But that's just the beginning of Raspberry Pi. Then you have to find the image. To, to download which one you want. You want the Motion Blue arcade version or you want this called Ray arcade version, Raspberry Pi you know, image. You could download a lot of those. Uh, watch my other video, you, it will show you how to do that. Okay, so going back to this, we take all the button out and this is the battery thing that uh, you put the battery. This is where I'm gonna put the USB uh, for the, the car, okay? And you know, take this joystick out. You have to op uh, open those four four screws to pu pull this out of the the case. Okay, joystick case. Now, since I got everything taken out, see it open easily. Could be managed open. And when you pull it out, see have all this leg that is supporting all the all the screw that's going through here. Okay, and. When you lift it up, they did a very nice job with the RK version, uh, iCat RK cabinet, and this one is the just the case, and it looks exactly the same as that one. All right, we have that middle. Let me put it down. Let me see if I can bring this closer. Uh, going back. Okay. In the other one, you also have this, and that's where you could put the iPad cable to here, and you could plug it to the wall jack, wall, wall jack. But I went and cut this out because I was trying to put a joystick right on top of here, right on top of here, which is which is uh, right underneath here, but. So I get out of this game. I got both set up with uh, pressing two of this button at the bottom to take the game back back to where it was. Okay, so this is the car that come with it, and they do a real nice job. This look exactly the same way. So what you do is you have to uh, okay, you have to turn this, turn it, and this will come straight out. And you can pull this thing out. Okay, so let me show you from here. All right. So this is the original that come from the iCat. Well, this is right here. Okay. Then once you take all the all the four screw, this will pop straight out. But yeah, turn this, turn this. So the hole that stick will come straight out. So you turn this, remove this uh, joystick bar, then you and then unscrew those, oops, unscrew those four four screw. Then you can pull it straight out from the the case. Okay, I'm gonna call it uh, the cabinet case. And then this is the joystick. I left everything plugged in because I figure it'd be easier for me in the future if I want to use it again. I don't have to. Try to figure out where what cable go where on this 
And then this car is pretty much the same size as the one you're seeing over there. Okay. Exactly the same size. So if I bring it closer. Oh, my tracking ball is going off the way. Okay, so if you look at it, it's the same exact size. It's the same car, okay? You see it? Okay, so inside it looks exactly the same. That's the reason I'm using this one to show you because it's hard to show you what inside looks like since I already removed and cut a lot of stuff out. Okay. And let me get out of this so it won't make so much noise. Uh, I'm just going down instead. Okay. Ah, more sound. <laughs> anyway, it's a pretty cool when you have an arcade like that. You know, you spin around, you you choose the game. It's pretty cool, and I, I like it. You know, it's, once you finish building it, it's pretty re rewarding. Okay, now to pop this out. You will have to bring this close to you. You will have to turn this. This what this is what hold the the case. You know the piece the between this wood this piece right there. You un you unscrew this, but in order to pull this head out from the, you have to uh, push this back. Okay, push this back and then lift up. And lift all the way up, and then, then you take this out. All right. Then once you take that out, then you unscrew this, and then it will fall straight out because this is this is what holding it, holding it. Okay. So you, this is how you take it out. All right. And then once you finish taking it out, what I normally do is I put it right back so that way. I remember which one go well. Okay, uh, okay, this is on the top. So I put it this little hole right here. This hole go right in this this little hole here, and then you just push it down, pull this back, and snap back on. Okay. So you gotta do all that with all eight, uh, all button. Okay. So let me see if I could move this lower, bring it closer. Okay. So for example, I want to take this one out. I push this white thing back, lift this up like so. Okay. You will see it. Okay. I push this back and then lift this up. I'll do it one hand. Okay, and then wiggle this out of this little hole. Hole on here, hole on the side. Okay. So, let's see if bring it closer to you. So, then I'll pop this out from here. Okay. Now, this piece is out from here. Okay, out from here. Okay. So now I unscrew this. I'm trying to get with it. I'm trying to get this one out. Get this button out. So I unscrew this with hand. Hold this piece so it won't follow this uh, this plastic. Okay, and you just keep on spinning. Keep on spinning till 
Okay, you could, oh, so in other words, you gotta pop it out going this way, not down. Okay, sorry about that. I mean, so you gotta take this out first. See, it's got it out. Then now, now you could push this out. See this button? Now you could push it out. Okay. And then you replace it with the LED one. You do the same thing. You put the LED light down like that. And then you you, uh, you, you screw it on with this washer, the black washer. You just screw it back on. You know, like so. And then you... Now this would be different. This one is, is a little clicking thing. You know, clicking thing that, that make the arcade work. So this only have two two cable, uh, the black and red cable. Without the other one using four. So let's go ahead and put this one back, and I'll show you how. Okay, let me turn it in the direction that I have it before, so I remember how to do that. So I'll put this small hole. Back here in the bottom. And then Tying it back up. All right. So this is how this is this how look. Okay. Now, now we're gonna take that out, apart. All right. So that's the big chunk. We're gonna take that apart. Lose all my stuff. Where is my other head? Okay. So this one belongs to this cabinet. So let me put all this screw together. So I won't get confused. That's the four for the leg. I'm missing one. Okay, here's my other one. Found it. Oh, one thing before I, I, I go that one is I put the 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 USB car that controlling the the joystick. I put it where where you see the battery is right now. Where the battery is. That's that's the battery thing. What I did is I used a scissor to cut that battery and then I put it in the same place. Because the joystick the joystick is very long. It's almost as long as this thing right here. So I have no room to put it right below the joystick, which this one has space to put. But the, my car, USB car, is bigger than this one. So let me give you an example how big it is. See, this This is a USB one. It's a lot bigger than, than, than that one. So if you compare the size-wise, is twice its size and it's longer so I really don't have space to put this USB joystick in there and plus the height is there's more to put in there than this little half size joystick which is USB so that's, that's the problem I have I cannot put it in the same place as that so what I did is is I uh, So what I did is I cut this piece off. I 
cut this piece off using the scissor, using the uh, plastic cutter, you need to go find it. And then I put this USB wire on top right here, which is, is, is exactly the, the same length, and it didn't take up the space. And then I cut this off, cut this piece off, so I could put my cable to out here, so I could plug it in. Okay, so let's get into the good part and put the, the LED, the one with the LED light joystick button. And I'll show you how to configure. That's the hard, that's the part that uh, need to be explained because I have some problem getting the LED light to work too. <coughs> So this is the what it looked like from the original uh, iCat. This is what it looked like in, inside before I took it apart. Uh, don't know why it's dancing like that. Okay, and that's how it looked like in the back. It's the same, almost the same as I mean, it is the same as the other one. Okay, and I have to pop that black thing out. That's the car, okay, the way it's connected. I took a picture just in case I have to unplug this, which I, so now I don't have to. I just have to remove the screw, and then the board came straight out. I think there's a one, I think there's four, one, two, three, four, four screw, one, two, and then two more. And then the boards come straight out. Okay, so one, two, three, four, four screw. And so the ball comes straight out, so I, I didn't have to um, unplug anything. This is the new one that you have to know. This is the LED light that has four ports, and you have to plug it in cor correctly. Oh, that's why I won't. This is the old one. It's showing you how I, uh, and this is the joystick. And it's showing you what it looks like. I'll take the screw out and then then it will come straight out and it's showing you that this whole line up with this black thing so you could uh, put it right back uh, I don't know if it's all the shadow sorry about that can you see it now it's too many shadows so you unplug that Push that in. And you uh, snap that in. Push it back down with this hole. We'll go with that. The hole go with that hole. Okay. And that's what it looks like after you put it back. Nice. Okay. So I used the original screw instead of the the one that came with it because it's too short the original one is longer so that way my joystick will work and then i screwed the ball back on and then put it back in this is what the ball looked like with the uh, one two uh, i don't think this is not the one i don't think this is the one that come oh here's the cable yeah it is, it is the ball it comes with three pin and also support two but I use the three because the cable is three. And then I plug those in. Those are the LED light. See, show you how it look like. So let's get into that. Let me shut it down. Let's remove this one first. <clears throat> ah, it's gonna be a long video. It's already 34 minutes away. Okay, I have a side. I haven't shown you guys the size. What it looks like. I have a button that turn off and off button. Okay, so I'm gonna push this button, and Raspberry Pi do a, a a proper shutdown. Okay, so I I bought a new case. It's called the NES Pi case. Uh, I've got it for twenty four dollar plus shipping and tax. Its total is twenty four twenty four ninety nine. Uh, and you have an off and on, off and on button, but doesn't have software written with the the pin port, so the GPI port. So I'm going to uh, 
do that once I get that case. And I'm gonna take all my toys out. All right. So since this is shut off, power off, I'm gonna go ahead and shut the main one off right here. Uh, you can see it. Shut the power off completely. All right. Then I'm gonna turn this around. Let me get that ball back. And that's the back of the Raspberry Pi. Okay. Uh, I'm going to unplug this power button. I'm gonna unplug the the screen, the H HDMI, and then I'm gonna unplug the uh, the USB joystick cable. And then this is uh, plug into the pin for the power on and off. Okay, which is right now is I have I haven't put a hot glue on it, so you could like move forward and backward. Okay, and that's what it looked like. Now I didn't like the idea that when I put it sideways, I've used a valve core to like stick on, but I didn't like the idea that this USB will move around. So I'm gonna gonna take this case out, put a different case, and put a different uh, heat sink that I don't have to put a copper and then the aluminum. I'm just gonna get straight copper. Can you see that? See that? You know how the USB is moving tall because I I, I put it upside down and and I use the I think they call it putty to for the heat sink. But it's it's lying. It's not in its same spot. So I'm gonna replace it with the whole thing. It's a copper. Copper it do better on the. It do better with the the heat. It cool it down better. In other words, instead of aluminum. So I'm gonna replace those. All right, and then I'm gonna replace it with the uh, Raspberry Pi that look like NES. Uh, it's gonna be a bigger case. Now this one in the back is good. It didn't move But the one in the front for some reason is moving. I don't know why Okay So I'm gonna tear this up take the cable in the part and show you how I put the LED light And I think from there you should able to do it everything else yourself It's not that difficult uh, It's just taking school and put it back to school. Okay So I got the Raspberry Pi unplugged now I need to do is take the screen out. So I'm going to change. This is the same. Okay. Hold up. And this screen, it does originally have. Uh, this one I got it from Amazon too, and I'll have the link to for it, so you could buy one just like it. It's a perfect fit, and I believe it's like a 189. It costs about 189. And I'm gonna go ahead and see those. Now I don't want to take the screw all the way out because uh, I will need the screw originally was there. So that mean that mean that this screen might fall apart if I remove the screw from this screen. Push it back in so it won't this this whole thing won't fall apart. Okay. Now there's a power behind the back. I forgot to unplug it because I can't unplug it until uh, I get the oop, I get the screen to unplug that. And then this is the the H HDMI. Now if you look at it, this is the screen. Oh, screen's coming out. I use a valve, valve core also to with the back here so that it will hold the screen won't move and then I use a, a drill and drill the hole a little bit bigger oh, I lost my little plastic and that keep it from moving and I also drill a hole on that too 
Ah, everything's falling apart. Let me go find my stuff before. Everything fall apart. I apologize that I'm not the uh, what you call it the professional people trying to make money from YouTube. I'm not. I'm just doing this for for hobby and showing what I learn and how to go about doing it, and hopefully it will benefit you. Uh, just sharing information with people. But I think I lost uh, the plastic that go between this. I have to look for it. Now I can't find it. I finally have to also show you what I did. I also have to drill, drill hole on those. Okay, I can't find it now. I'm going to look for it later. Alright, so this power is, is unplugged for the monitor for this uh, 10, 10 inch. That's a 10 inches monitor. Okay. So you do not know what's my plastic thing. All right, go back to the cabinet. Now, I need to take this off and kind of want to take this off, but Okay, let's look at this pin thing closer. I'm gonna unplug the pin, but I don't remember where I plug it. Otherwise, I'm gonna have a problem with the power off and power on. Can you see it? Okay, I think this one is the, the ground that it goes to the back. It already came off already. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, block the the pin. The uh, the fan is on pin number. There's a one, two, three, number four, and then uh, four, and then one, two, three, four, five, six. Five, six is is the the blue and green. So five is the blue, and then six I'm gonna unplug. And those are the ones controlling the. And then behind is the 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 LED light which is the 7 so unplug that and this is the power to the fan which is came off already so I believe I have it plug in on the either the 2 or the, the 1 okay I don't know did I videotape that okay so now I could pull this cable out and the way I solder this is I have a I'm sorry let me, let me show you the way I solder this I put my glasses back on so I can see when I'm recording okay I put a little cable I put a little uh, this pin right between this red one to the middle and that's how it, it have the power to you know the LED light to be on and then the 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 blue the green and the blue are white diagonal across you see a white diagonal across and then the the red and the black is diagonal across each other
and then and then the red one is the one that I add an extra uh, cable to go across in the middle. Okay, and that's how you wire this button. So if you want to get a button like this, I'll put a prescription on it. Then you could. Uh, but one thing about this button is you have to press it one and off again and then on to turn it off. To turn it off, you just press one time and it turn off. But to turn it on, you have to turn. You have to press it uh, one and off again and then on again. Then we we'll turn on. And to turn off, you just press it one time, let go, and it's off. So you have to double press it to, to turn it on. Or you could just, once you turn it off, just turn the main switch that came with Raspberry Pi, unplug the power. Once you unplug the power, you just have to press it one time. So it kind of put in a like a off mode, but it's not completely shut off. So you have to do it. Uh, so in order to turn it back on, you have to take it out of that shut off mode, then turn it back on. So that's the reason you have to do it twice. Okay. So I don't know did I show you this correctly. The the green and the blue are diagonal across. The red is the positive and the negative the ground. Oh shoot, I'll move it up again. The red and the black are the diagonal wire across each other and they are the positive and the the ground negative. The black is the negative. The 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 G, GPA the blue the the blue one and the green one are diagonal across. And those are for five pin five and six and that's the one you write the program to 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 turn it off and on. Okay. And then you put the positive red one to get the LED light to light up. You have to put a, another uh, sort of another uh, line between the red and the middle. The red and the middle. See that? Red and the middle. There's a middle uh, connection at the at the middle. There's total of four plus one in the middle is five. Okay, so you have to get them cable correct correctly. <coughs> All right, so hopefully that will help you to the way you cable this one. All right, so to take off the cabinet, we're going to unscrew it. Now this one used that the one I say the T uh, T15. I believe it's called T15. Let's move the monitor somewhere else so I have extra space. Otherwise, I don't have, and I don't want to scratch this. You do not want to scratch your screen. Okay. So let's move the screen somewhere. T15. Yeah. Okay. So there's a total of uh, one, two, three, four in the back, and then two, uh, one in the front. To get this, uh, let's get those screw out. To get the wood out.
there's 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 two of them in the front. Yeah, take that out too. Okay. I got this one, this one out. Okay. Now this thing will come straight out. Okay. Come out. And what holding it was those two little can you see it? Those two little metal that, that, that go into the hole that hold that top lid top lid on okay and then there's a little uh, piece of metal that that keep it from from me flop it down so it's just kind of like open and, and sit while on top of, of this metal and then I drew a hole open hole there okay this piece originally had this piece right here which uh, could hold your iPad sitting right down here so I took the uh, the the four screw out from the bottom to take this one out okay okay and then let's see this piece is hold on by a screw at the bottom so we're going to flip it down. Let's bring this down more. You see it? Okay, so this two this plastic is the one that holding that piece of wood here in the middle. So hopefully you can see that. So I'm gonna take that off. We'll take this piece off. Okay, so that screw come out. And that screw come out. Okay, and then so this wood comes straight out. Okay. Now let's move this to the side. This is the cable for that that USB car for your joystick. See how I cut the hole out? That is that normally is used for the I cut a hole out over there. See, I cut that piece out. Now let me show you what kind of tool I use. Okay, I'm back. You can use this this one. It's like mainly cut wire. They they are good to cut the plastic. So instead of using the whatever the other stuff that I used to have, just cut it. Okay. And you just go around and just cut 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 cut. You know, from the other side. Okay. So. I got that wood out. Now the question is, uh, how did I get this two piece of wood out of my way? Oh, I have this button there, so it might be causing it to not really come out.
And he's going to be holding this up. I think he's holding it because I screwed this in. Oh, okay. You see that screw in the middle? And I'll take that screw out. There's nothing under any of this thing here, under this, okay. So how did this hold itself together? Let's go and get all the screw out. Now, they use a special tool on this. I remove those two screws, and then I don't use that special key lock. You know the one that um, the one's called T8. This one. I don't use that. I remove it so I don't have to use this again. And then uh, let's go ahead and take all this screw out. Ah, didn't change this stupid head. <laughs> no, it didn't work. All right, now let's, let's do it. See, uh, I cut the thing off, which I shouldn't. Now that I don't, I can't put a screw there anymore. So I'm trying to make space to put that that USB card. But it seems like every place I put it, it doesn't work. So I have no choice but to cut the body out, to put it in the same place where the body is. So that way, another one here. School. Maybe one down here. It's a lot of work. Ah, it's probably gonna take me an hour just to open this up. So yeah, give yourself a, a good, a good day to work on this. It's probably gonna take a long time. Here's another screw on the side. Another one on top. Mm, one left, and I can't. I'm sorry, my head is blocking. The one left and I can get out. Really? Seriously? One screw is giving me a hard time. Maybe I already messed up the, the 
Let's go ahead. Oh, maybe you can know what to say. Oh, no. Probably fast forward this video. Don't have to go through all this with me. Ah. Uh. Do you go get a hand, hand, hand one? Good old hand screwdriver. Phillips screwdriver, I guess they call this Phillips. Alright. Okay, that's all of it. So let's go over all the screw. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay? And then this this two. Uh, the big one, we use a different, uh, use the T, uh, T15, okay, so you use the T15 for the wood, which is one, two, three, uh, three, four, and then right here in the front, five, six, okay, and then seven, eight. Let me. This thing is coming off already. Okay. This is what everybody want to see. This is what it looks like. So that is the new LED setup. That is the new car that was put in here. I'm able to use uh, the first one, two, three, four. That I'm going to. Uh, I wanted to add four more button here. Okay, and this is the one where, when I close the case, the joystick is hitting it. That uh, the D-pad that's moving the the stick is hitting this, so I will not have to cut this. So that way, when you push against it, it won't keep this button from clicking. The button is clicking. So if you if you if it, if you push at it, uh, the last video I did, if you have it push on it, 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 the clicking stops. So let me see if I could hold this and do this two hand at the same time. So if you push this down, the kick the clicking stop. See that? The clicking stop, but if you look go it. It come back in, so that's why I cut that piece and move it. So when I close it, the D pad is not hitting it. And I put some tape so it won't move around. I added two more buttons in front the LED light. Now it doesn't come with all this LED light. It only come with maybe ten. And the reason I have two extra one because I asked the guy, can I buy it? And the guy sent it to me for free. So that's how I got the two extra LED light for the front. The two on the side, I drilled a hole. Uh, this side didn't have any problem because there's no D-pad hitting this joystick. And the same idea uh, is to uh, turn and, and pull this out. Okay. So I'm going to show you how to cable this. And then you can do the rest yourself. Correct? It should be easy. You just see which button you want and just plug it in. And but you and then this is the power that plug in here. I I use the uh, the heat gun, the hot glue. I mean, to glue the board on where the the you know the other one I was showing you where the the battery that was put on the iCat. I cut that out. And so I could put this on. 
but I didn't destroy the lid so you could still close and open in the lid part on the back and so and all the cable just plug right in you know one by one you just plug it in and and this one I use it for I added a I put that for the oop, I use this one right here for the LED light in the the coin 25 cents coin see this cable go directly here and then this this is the the this what make the light light up that come with iCat and just slide right behind here with the you can see it slide right down here and that give the bright light for the, the 25 cents coin so that's the that's what uh, I use a regular this cut this cable is too short so I use this this connection and then just plug it in with just two little head right there so I uh, let me show you what cable that I use You could buy one of these box from eBay or or Amazon if you want to like two days delivery, and it comes with a lot of cables, so you don't have to do your own cable. It's cheaper. So this one have the two point head, and this one have the two female instead of the two female instead of male. This is male. So what I did is I I pull I. I tear this out and use the female to female and just plug it in is that correct is that a female I'm sorry I use the male I use the male to plug it in here so is there a female female I have a a female and a male on this side so I have some cables like that some of them are just female female and some are male female so let me find one show you that the, it does come with that this is a brand new pack that I just bought Female, female. There you go. I thought I was thinking something wrong. Yeah, I was right. It does come with a a, a, a female and a male. So I plug this into the board. Okay. Let me show you close up. Where's the board? Like for example, this this one came with all the cable, and I and I want more cable, so I bought another board. It's cheaper than. So what I did is I put this two female, two female into here. Okay. Like so. And then I I plug this two other this two into that connection so that make the cable longer so I don't have to like struggle with the not long enough okay that makes sense so I got the two female one plug it in okay so that's how I got the 25 cent coin working now let's talk about the main light LED light 
Okay, the LED light, I'm gonna go ahead and take this one out. Let's move the camera. So you can see me taking it out. I'm gonna unscrew it like I did with the old iCat. Remember I was showing you? Just unscrew this. Okay, when I unscrew this, see that the wood is, is falling off. So what holding this wood was because of my joystick. Okay. So if I pop this joystick, this thing out like this forward, okay, this wood will come off. Okay. And let me go ahead and do that. So I can show you how I put this cable together. So I'm going to unplug this from the back. Okay. Remove this. Because this is plugged into the board, the USB board. Okay. And then now could push forward. And this wood is going to come off. Okay. All right. Okay. So I just draw the hole and then push this out pushes into this hole. Now the best way to drill this is you want to drill from this direction. You do not want to drill from this direction because it's going to tear the paper which I it tear my paper. So the other side I draw from this side so I already cut the paper so when it go in it does not tear the paper. You already cut the paper and then go in. And the drill bit that I use is let me show you. Let me just bring it over. This is a set I got from Home Depot, and I use one of one of this uh, drill bit. So let me open this up. Close down this one. Okay. So I use one of this drill bit, and what I did is I take the the joystick, the head, and find out which what which one which one will work better, you know. Which one will work better for for the hole? Let's try. Let's see this big, this big one. Okay, this is like a I guess it's one. And it look like it's okay. So I think I use this one instead of uh, instead of this uh, three fourth. Instead of the three fourth. I used the one, so it was the one, okay. And so to show it to you, which one did I use? Let's check it out. I use, I think I use this one, yeah. Yeah, I did. I use the one. So if you can see it turn and it goes straight out this way. See? So yeah, I use the, the one. So if you're wondering which one did I use, I use the one uh drill bit to drill this. Okay. And then you could use any kind of the drill. You could use the same one as this one. If you want to, which I think I did, pull this forward, back and put this in, and then you just do it. Okay, just drill the hole. And this is what I use to drill the hole for those. Um, oh, I almost stabbed myself. Okay. And if you're curious, what I bought, I bought this one from Home Depot as well, and it's called that.
Okay, the video is already a one hour video. I don't know, it's going to let me upload it with YouTube. YouTube sometimes restriction about how long the video can be. All right, let's get to the cable. All right, this is the part that a lot of people don't understand how to cable this. Uh, you have to cable it correctly, otherwise it will not work. Okay, so uh, let's try the black. These two black ones need to be side by side. Okay, let's move this over here so you can see. If you notice that this side is a little bit higher, so the black and this blue. Now the other one, it could be uh, yellow instead of blue. Okay. It could be yellow and red, okay? But these two will always say black. So the single one go into, into this big little hump. You saw it on top? So this black one go to here, and the red one, this, black, this is a single, single black one. This one is a black one, which connect to that, that single one. So this black one have two cable, this head, two line. And the other line is here, okay? This one go to the big lump here. This with two cable, it always go next to the red one. Okay, so let me unplug the red one, and let me show you, let me unplug the blue one. This is what it looks like. Can you see? See the, the top two have a little bit of a, like a little bit step up, where this side, it doesn't. See that? This side does does not. And this two half. So the one that does not, you're gonna put red on the left side first. Can you see? I'm gonna put the red in first. Then the one with the double black with two K two line on it. I'm gonna put a white next to it. I'm not, gonna, I'm not putting it this way, I'm putting it this way. See it? Not the back side with the not the flat back with the two little circle in the front. I'm gonna put that white next to it. Oh, it's hard to do this when you are bifocus. <laughs> Your vision cannot see. All right, let me try again. Okay, with two cable lines, the black one go here. And then the red one go here. You got some plastic that is keeping you from push it down. Just kind of push it back on, push it back down. Okay, so the red one go wire across is the is the, the either blue or yellow, depend on your cable. Okay, so you're gonna take the the solid blue cable and do the same with. This here is facing it down. You see that? Do it again so I can see the screen. This two little hump, the 
the flat go on top like this. Okay. Then you're going to take this single black one, this cable, and you're going to put it the same way you're going to put it right here. I did that right. I'm putting it in the middle, correct? Yeah. Okay. So all the cable, make sure all the cable is in. All right. And that's all you do. Then you take this head and you plug it in, you plug it into the motherboard. I mean not the board, not the motherboard, but the USB board. And I have this one uh, over down in, in in the back. Can you see it? So I'll plug this one. Let me see which way. Okay, I'm gonna plug it this this way. Can you see that? With just two little. See over here where they have two little red line, two dots. Two little red dot right there, two little red dot, that, that which is right here, two little, that's going to be facing, two little red dot right here, that's going to be facing forward, okay, not, not, not this side, this side, okay, so that's going to be going, going straight down like this, so I'll take it to the back, And that's the only way, only direction you could plug in anyway. Okay. So let me show you the one in the front. The two, two dot right there. So if I was to pull this one out, let me fix the screen. So let's put this one straight out. Okay, so two, the two little line dot go in the front, and not not the back, but you see the 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 copper, the three, not that side, this side, <clears throat> this side, okay, and then you're gonna just plug it right in like this. So I just plug it straight in like that. Okay, and then after everything is plugged in, I'm gonna go ahead and put this this wood back in. Now to do that, I need to find my wood. Okay, here's the wood, and then I need to find my joystick button, which is this one. Now, you don't want to plug it in before you put it in in the wood. So you unplug it again. Okay. So you're going to run the cable into the wood. Let it come out through this. Go through this wood. And this piece go into this hole as well. And then then this thing come to here okay 
So you have put one this thing to two holes, one hole here and one hole on this wood. And when you drill a hole, you want to drill, you hold the wood next to this piece and drill the hole at the same time. So you get the hole on the wood and the plastic on the case. The case is plastic. And then you're going to take this and screw in. I normally have it face this way, the wider area, so you can hold uh, the wood better this way. Okay, so I'm going to screw in this way. Okay, so I'm going to take the wire, run it through this plastic. Okay, and then from this plastic. I'm going to screw this in, hand screw, hand screw tight. Okay. Once I can't screw it no more, it's tight. Then this wood is pretty much stable. Okay. So then this, uh, you want it. You know, remember I said there's two lines. You want that to face the uh, toward you, and then you plug it in in the back. So since this is pretty short, I'm going to run it on the bottom of, of, of the other wire instead on the top. So I don't have to, that way I get more the, the length of the cable because the cable is not that long. It's, it's far away from it. And now I have enough space to uh, I'll plug it in to the to the back. Okay. Now let's look at this one. Uh we can see this one better. Okay. This is using this cable right here, the five pin cable. Okay, you just plug it in. You unplug it. And there's this two. Let me see if I can get the screen. Closer, so you can see. Same thing with two line here. It's facing away from the uh, D pad. It's not this side, okay? It's this side, and you just plug it into this this uh, connection. And then this cable go into where the the middle of the the USB cable, and then this is the power. This is the power you want to plug the power in here. Okay, make sense so far? Okay. All right, and then this one is the the coin, twenty five cents coin light LED light. Okay, and this everything else is same. We just do the same thing as the, the one I show you, the white one. You just unscrew this. You know, have the cable one between the washer, the black washer, the holding joystick up. Put the joystick into the hole. Put the washer in you know, inside the cable. Then you plug in. You know, then you plug the cable in. Go ahead and screw this in. Then uh, plug all the cable in correctly. And that's pretty much it. And that's how I build that cabinet. I show you how I took it off from using the other one, and this one is the finished result after you put everything in. I hope this really helped you. I I can't go into any more detail because I am not going to build another one. Uh, if I do, I'm going to build a small one. I'm going to build the one with a, a seven inch screen. This one's a ten inch. Uh, uh, IP, IP, I think it's called IPS uh, screen, which is is uh, using a 
HDMI connection so and I have a built-in speaker so I don't have to worry about any speaker so it saves you more money and, and time when you have to mess with the speaker okay and uh, the monitor that monitor is actually pretty good you could remove the speaker from from the monitor and and uh, put the monitor put the speaker on the cabinet see how there's a speaker here and if you look in here there is a, a speaker uh, on this thing so if you separate them and yeah, let me go ahead and separate them show you you actually could take all this out piece by piece And if you look at it piece by piece, you will know you could actually buy this one and take out the speaker. See right there? Those are the two speakers you could actually mount it to the cabinet instead of mount it right directly in the back. And I think the cable is long enough that you could take the, take the screw out and then uh, and then mount it into the into the cabinet instead of onto the monitor but since it's fine with me the way it is I'm just gonna leave it there and then uh, this is the plastic I was talking about that I drove a uh, bigger a wider hole uh, really hard to do this <laughs> Try not to scratch the monitor, but yeah, this plastic thing right here, I drill a little bit wider so that a screw will fit in, and that go between this so you keep it from uh, some some gap between the the speaker and everything. Okay, now to put all this back. Okay, all right, that's all I have. Hope you enjoy it. Hope this helped. Thank you. If you like it, please, please subscribe and give me a thumb up. I hope this uh, help help you guys.